how come the Japanese embraced Buddhism but were hostile towards Christianity? How come? What is the reason? Well, it's like this, my dear friends. When it comes to Dharma, both Dharma, whichever Dharma, the Japanese found that people who became practitioners of, of Dharma, whether it is both the Dharma or whatever form, they remained 100% Japanese and they were completely devoted to the service of their motherland, Japan. Yes? You may not know this, but for centuries in Japan, the consumption of meat was prohibited because of the influence of Dharma. And it is a misconception that the Jap- that the Japanese are pure Buddhists. You will find every single non-Buddhist Hindu deity, divinity, represented in Japan. Whether it is Saraswati who is called Benzaiten, whether it is Lord Ganesh who has a Japanese name, whether it is Lord Shiva, whether it is Lord Mahakal, whether it is uh, Lakshmi, every single non-Buddhist Hindu god and goddess is represented in the Japanese polytheistic pantheon. It is now called Buddhism. Yeah. Anyhow, that's a whole different story. So I think uh, Buddhism or Dharma entered Japan at least 1500 years before today. It entered Japan via China. So the, so the Chinese were deeply interested in becoming Dharmic. Yes, their kings, their emperors would send requests to Indian kings and emperors for India to send Buddhist scholars, Vedic scholars to China, who would then go there and translate sutras and, and Sanskrit texts into Chinese. And slowly the Chinese became Indianized. Right? Right? You still see that today, whether the, whether the Chinese like it or not, it's there. A significant amount of the Chinese culture comes out of India. They have absorbed it and made it their own. Then that propagated further east into Japan, why China. Of course, a few Indian scholars, Dharma gurus also did go into Japan and set up monasteries there with royal approval. Yes, it happened. So... Uh, Buddhism, so to say, has been in Japan for at least 1,500 years. And the Japanese always observed that when Japanese citizens, civilians, kings, uh, samurai, warriors, etc., they became practitioners of Dharma, whether Buddhism or whatever, they remained completely devoted to the service of their motherland. Now, when Christianity entered Japan, about 500 or so years ago, roughly, roughly, give or take, the Japanese observed that those Japanese who became Christians don't take my word for it, look it up yourself. The Japanese observed that those Japanese who became Christians tended to become anti-nationals. And they would indulge in activities that would be counter productive to the Japanese national interest. And that's why the Japanese became very hostile towards Christianity. This is a fact. Look it up yourself. Fact check me. I will not give you sources. You can look it up yourself. It's all available online. It's all available in the public domain. Do a little bit of fact checking. Please go ahead. All right. Feel free.